All right, so this is a uh, retirement match. Yes. A uh, no-holds-barred retirement match. Triple H versus Brock Lesnar. Yes. So, uh, Triple H was trying to re-sign uh, Brock Lesnar to uh, get him back in the WWE after his... Now, was, tri- was Triple H... Well, Triple H, was he the general manager or whatever? At yeah, point? at this point, he was the uh, COO. And so he, I believe he might have also been the general manager of Raw. Or, no. At this point, no, he wouldn't have been the general manager of Raw. But, uh, he was a COO, and so he was uh, trying to negotiate Brock Lesnar's return. Um, and Brock was having none of it. He really just wanted to, you know, stick it to Triple H. So he made all sorts of demands. Uh, Triple H gave him into the demands, and then Brock Lesnar just broke his arm after he signed the contract. Triple H's arm, not his own, <laughs> not his own arm. <laughs> <laughs> um, he was just that angry. <laughs> uh, Shawn Michaels would later say that he was going to um, oversee the match. Which is why Shawn Michaels is here. Okay. And I want to say that he broke Shawn Michaels' arm too. Using his Kimura lock. This okay. is uh, the famed feud that shattered kayfabe. Because... Um, really? Because, yeah, Brock breaks uh, Lesnar's arm. Uh, Brock... God, I just did it again. Brock breaks Triple H's arm, and then like three weeks later, Triple H is on TV holding the title for Floyd Mayweather. Walking down... Floyd Mayweather? Yeah. What, the boxer? The boxer. Okay. He's walking down with Floyd Mayweather okay. holding the title up. Um, and that was the day people discovered that wrestling was, wasn't real. It was the day a lot of people rediscovered that wrestling wasn't real. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot of pretty great comics about people being like, uh, isn't your arm broken? And he's like, oh yeah, ouch. (laughs) So yeah, Shawn Michaels is here, I think. I want to say to be the special referee, but this is a no-holds-barred match, so I think he might just be, uh, (laughs) in the corner. (laughs) For who? Triple H, obviously. So there's right, uh, Brock, Brock Lesnar. With Paul Heyman. Bigdom. And his uh, big dumb company... knife tattoo and his And his gi- and his giant yeah, the giant the giant dagger tattoo that <laughs> That's still uh... That just seems like a poor choice. I don't understand. Like I okay. So to give some context, last the first time we recorded this, John swore up and down it was a sword, and then like the more he looked at it, the more he realized it was definitely a knife. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, the proportions are more like knife or dagger like, yeah. Um and then Even though it's like large it's like larger than an actual dagger would be, but Yeah, well like, that's what I don't understand. It's larger than life. <laughs> I also Like just... just like Brock Lesnar, I guess. I don't know. I just don't understand why you would get a giant knife tattooed onto your chest. Like, the full length of your torso, too. Yeah, it was, that's, yeah I mean, it's huge. It's, it's like, bigger than the thing it's, it's a tattoo of. <laughs> uh, yeah. Here comes a shaved head Triple H. Not dirty, long hair, ponytail Triple H. Mm. So this is the worst Triple H, obviously. <sighs> Anyways, um, yeah, this. I mean, this is pretty much all there is to the feud. Brock Lesnar just kept breaking people's arms until Triple H was like, "I'm gonna show you that you need to respect me," and Brock Lesnar's like, "I'm gonna show you that you need to retire." Uh. Brock Lesnar is currently the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. The uniform. Oh, really? Right now? Yeah. 
he holds the unified title of the WWE title and the world heavyweight title, which was the WCW title. So they combined both into one, and now it's the world heavyweight, the WWE world heavyweight title. The title that he has not defended since Night of Champions. Yeah. Which, according to the rules laid out by Jack Tunney, uh, you have to defend the title at least once per month, otherwise you forfeit it. But, you know. Well, the rules kind of appear and disappear as... As needed. I mean, wasn't there... Weren't you telling me that there was some, like, when Chris Jericho was going after CM Punk, he claimed that there was some rule that, like, if you were intoxicated, he was intoxicated on the on the venue or something? Yeah, the, the, there was an obscured rule saying if the champion is intoxicated at the venue of performance, then they forfeit the title. It's, a uh, yeah, it's, it just seems like there are rules that appear and disappear at random it's all it, so, it's almost like wrestling is kind of bullshit you know i mean yeah i know <laughs> it's like it's not a legitimate athletic competition <laughs> or something okay well, so in this match we will be playing, playing as triple h and one of our objectives will be to steal the knife tattoo all right you, wait you're just gonna flay it right off, off his, his chest, chest. And... it's no holds barred no no disqualification oh that's true that's true i mean the rules there's no rules that say you can't flay a man <laughs> until he submits Actually, I don't even know if you can submit in a no in a no holds barred match. It puts the lotion on its skin. It does this whenever it is told. <laughs> Brock Lesnar is not a small person. Oof. If he could fling, like I don't know if you, if any like normal human being can actually German suplex a person like that, but if they could, good God, I'd be impressed. He is a pale man. Yeah, he is. His ink is very distinctive because his skin is just that white. I mean, but what's funny is like when you when I watch him, he like when he's performing, he turns red. Like all of him turns like Kool Aid Man red. Just with rage. Yeah. At, well, okay. So at SummerSlam, uh, this past year, uh, John Cena held the unified WWE World Heavyweight Title. And Brock Lesnar was like, I'm going to take it from John Cena, and I'm going to leave him a broken man. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to leave him in a puddle of his own blood, sweat, and urine. Ooh. I don't know why they, they specified urine. Oh, also vomit. Um, but, 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 not, but not feces, because that's a CM Punk. Exactly. You can't infringe. Okay. So, um, Brock Lesnar gets in the ring, and German suplexes... John Cena 22 times in a 16 minute match <laughs> Jeez. And, and then just John Cena's like dead and then he pins him and like Brock Lesnar is screaming die 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 at John Cena on the ground <laughs> there's a there's actually a few times where John Cena like legit looks like he got a concussion uh, Brock Lesnar is not like the most technical performer and it wouldn't surprise me if he did hit his head but uh at any rate uh that was well at that point the the, the knife tattoo takes control you know yeah it passes and like, he just like the undertaker's spirit it's like like lesnar goes into the match and then midway through the match like suddenly like his suddenly like you know he Next thing he knows, he's like he's back in the dressing room. He doesn't remember the last ten minutes, but he's told that he just you know savagely pummeled somebody. <laughs> he's just back in the dressing room, and there's blood and viscera everywhere, and Paul exactly. Heyman's like desperately making phone calls, like you killed one <laughs> of the dressing room interns. Then he looks in the mirror, and it's like the tent, and the tattoo is like yes, <laughs> yes. I have more never life. More. <laughs> more. And, and that's when uh, that's when Vince McMahon came up with Ryback's gimmick, "Feed Me More." 
I can't even remember if Ryback's in this game now that I think about it. I'm fairly certain he is, but I don't think Curtis Axel is. Oh, wait, okay, now it's... Okay, Shawn Michaels is intervening, which... Yep. I guess un under the rules he's allowed to do. Yep. No disqualification. I mean... I mean, there's... I mean... I mean, in theory, Lesnar could just bring an actual knife out and just cut, <laughs> just cut, cut Triple H's head in the, off. In a real no disqualifications match, I, I suppose you could just do whatever, like, you know, bring a gun. Why not? I don't know what the rules are because there aren't any rules. Okay, so if if Shawn Michaels can run up and kick him, could Triple H not just enlist like the entire WWE locker room? And be like, just come beat this guy up. He, he wouldn't even need, like, it wouldn't even have to be wrestlers. He could just, like, have, like, a professional hitman come out with it. <laughs> not, I mean, not Bret Hart, like, an actual one. <laughs> I mean, the rules, I mean, that, that hold is not barred. No. It's just that vague. Yeah. Now we've got dueling chairs. But Brock Lesnar kindly uh, has set his in the corner. And now I feel like. And now I'm going to stomp on his ankle with. Yeah! I somehow broke the chair. Yeah. Ooh. Oh! You know, have you ever. Oh, yeah. Steel slips. Have you ever, um, like, lifted a steel chair like that? Like, it's not nearly as easy as they make it look. I know their chairs are probably even lighter than uh, normal steel chairs, and also they're yeah, much stronger than the average person, but still. Are they actually steel? I mean, do they just, do they just say You know, steel? the way they bend, I really can't imagine they are, because if they are... And maybe it's, maybe it's like, maybe it's, a, maybe it's aluminum or something? I'd, I'd hope so. Because I think of um, Masato Tana Tanaka. He's in ECW. He's just that Asian guy who, like, was uh, no selling. Made Hulk Hogan no sells look like weak. But he would he would <laughs> take like thirty like chair shots in a single match, and he would just like Hulk up and then take another chair shot to the head and be like, yeah. But those chairs would just get bent around his face. Maybe, maybe they are steel, and his skull is just made of an even stronger material. Perhaps. Like he had, he had his, he had all his bones replaced with iridium or something. <laughs> so I've stolen his F5 here, which was an accident. I was trying to steal the Kimura lock. Now that's a move some heels have, right? That they can like mimic. Yes. The uh, the other guy's finisher. Yeah, and so you can just input a command, and then you will steal their uh, steal their finisher or signature move. And in this case, I think I've stolen. Uh, I think I might have stolen uh, the F5 again. Thankfully, I've managed to keep hold of. Most of the offense in this match, though. So should be able to do it here. Oh, the finisher just disappeared. Just going through a variety of Triple H's taunts and getting punched in the head. That is a sweet reversal. It would be great if Brock Lesnar could really do that. Oh, and again. Oh, 
triple jump. There we go. Don't, don't let don't let the knife tattoo intimidate you like that. <laughs> At what point do I also, just give up? <laughs> also, what kind of movie name is F five? Uh, the F5 is a... Oh, here's me just going straight for the <laughs> instructions. The F5 was... Um, so, Brock Lesnar debuted a little bit after John Cena started to make it big. And Cena... The name of John Cena's finisher... When he was still the Doctor of Thugonomics was... F you. Right. And so, the F5 was like a take that at John Cena even though it makes no sense it doesn't I know that isn't really like mocking it it's just no randomly replacing a character yeah I don't know don't ask me to explain Brock Lesnar he got a knife tattoo <laughs> that's tr fair enough maybe it was the tattoo's idea I think it might have been that's the only did he have the tattoo then uh Although, no. although we may be making mis we may be making a mistake in assuming that the knife tattoo is limited by causality. As we it's know. true. It may have reached into it into the past, bringing up causing the events that brought about its own creation. Well, we we might it's, not it's, know. It's like Skynet, you know. <laughs> we we uh, we don't know that he didn't. Um, the knife tattoo wasn't just always a manifestation of his personality that he didn't just make real one day. It it was always, yeah, it was always there. It just hadn't, it hadn't emerged from his skin yet. This, this is, this is like the weirdest fanfic ever. <laughs> now you're probably, you're, and you're probably gonna write it now. Absolutely. Oh wow. Okay. Got him. Yep. Victory. Yeah. Here to, uh, it's not a legitimate win unless. Uh... Meanwhile, meanwhile, the tattoo is just berating Brock Lesnar for his defeat. I know. <laughs> you have failed me again, <laughs> you fool! You know. Next time, I will not be so merciful. 